thousands of years. The Greeks and the Romans were known to be the, one of the, some of the best orators ever and still known to be that. And they actually used a memory technology called the couplet system. And the couplet system, you know, back then they would have these huge dining room tables set with all these place settings and everyone could come together and sit at these, you know, large 20, 30 person meals at a dining room table. And the great orators, what they would do to practice their speeches, and oh, by the way, practice is a part of using and tapping into your memory. So memory technology does not replace studying. It is in addition to <laughs> to help you get through some of those areas. Done. And everyone says, oh, so I'll never have to study again. Wrong. Um, anyway, the, uh, the, the Greeks and the Romans, what they would do is they would stand at their dining room table and at each place setting that would have, you know, a full-size dinner plate, a small plate, a wine glass, and, and the silverware and so on, they would have different parts of their speeches at each place setting in their dining rooms at their dining room tables. And so as they would be standing in front of their audience and speaking, they literally would envision themselves using their visual minds to stand in front of their own dining room table and see a piece of their speech at every single place setting. Oh, interesting. And so memory technology really is about jogging the memory. Because like you said earlier, Jonathan, that everything that we see, or see hear, taste, smell, feel, and touch, process, and learn is all in our minds and memories. And so it's not the challenge of, do I know it? It's the challenge of, how can I access it? And so all we need is a small ear tag that will help us access that information. And it, it's literally just like opening up a file and letting that file, you know, all the information that's in that file pour forth. So that's how the Greeks and the Romans and now today, and, and sadly, when, you know, the pen and pencil and paper were created, the passing down of that wonderful memory technology was put to a halt because then we became dependent on pen, pencil, and paper. And so as many of you know, I'm sure, you take the time to write now your holiday shopping list, and by the time you get to the third store, that list just poof, disappears. <laughs> so it is about taking you know, information and putting it in a place other than on a piece of paper. Use your mind and memory to access it. Very cool. Yeah. Um, well, you know, Okay, because I'm always talking about what's going on in the head. Henry Ford's quote, whether you think you can or think you can't, either way you're right. You're right. And you mentioned this earlier, but people so often think, oh, I can't remember that. That's too hard. And uh, years ago, I was in a program, and basically in this program, we needed to memorize about 20 pages of material, pretty much verbatim, ver whatever that word is. Verbatim, word to verbatim. word. And my classmates were just like, freaked out, like, oh my gosh, this is going to be the hardest thing I've ever, you know, so they started off so much on the wrong foot, and I was just like, no, I'll just, how about if I just had this be easy? So now I had a bunch of people kind of annoyed with me because, you know, I had the whole thing memorized and they were like still on the first quarter, or whatever, you know, and, but I just, I started with this attitude of, well, what if it would just be easy? You know what you said about the uh, couplet? Yep, the couplet system. The couplet thing. I didn't do that, but in a way I did because what I did instead of just trying to memorize it is I just created this really big structure. Okay, part one talks about this sort of thing and part two. And so then it was so easy to flow from piece to piece. And then, you know, once I enter a piece and I could remember the sub parts Pieces. in there and, it, you know, and it, it just, it wasn't that hard. Okay, so what you did, what it sounds like, first of all, you, you incorporated a, a, a visual piece where you created, it sounds like, kind of like a mind map inside your head of, of, infor, of groups of information and what I refer yes, to as meaningful Yes, I think I did that. I, I didn't do it pen and paper, but mm -hmm. in, in my head I did, yeah. And we do learn better when you learn information in meaningful chunks, take a, take a, uh, a break, process an information, interact with it a little bit, share it with other people, and then move on and get more information, and then go back and review and continue forward. Um, in addition, it also sounds like you use, you know, I, what I tell people is the whole goal of the memory is that we want to take information that we want to remember and put it into a file. Okay, and so memory technology today is about creating a set of mental files inside our heads. And what the Greeks and the Romans did, their files became the couplet system, which were the place settings at their tables. And so what we're able to do is teach people how to create mental files inside their heads so that they can access those files, and as soon as they open up the file, millions of pieces of data pour forth. So let me give you an example, Jonathan. Pick, think of the first car you ever owned. Mm -hmm. 
Now, instantaneously, what happens in your mind's eye when I say, think of the first car you ever owned? Well, I, I see the car. I see the first time I ever drove that car. Uh, so what other memories come along with that? Good times, oh, bad times, happy times, uh, bad times. A whole, a whole bushel basket. Yeah, yeah, millions that we couldn't even, I mean, they're coming forth so fast you couldn't even talk about. the first car I ever made right. out in. Oh, 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 now we have to keep Too much information. Okay, now that's All kinds of things. <laughs> Let me clarify, this is photographic memory we were talking about, not no, pornographic memory. <laughs> point, point 